Thank you for joining me for another math lesson. The name of this math lesson is How Many in All. This should be your lesson for Wednesday. Now, I want you to go get your math pages 351 through 354. They should be two papers that are stapled together. You may go get them now, please. We're not going to work on them until the last two pages, but I still want you to get them. Okay, let's go to the next page. Hello, on this page we're reviewing the concept of the plus symbol, which looks like a T, and the equal symbol which looks like two lines, one on top of each other. Let's go to our first problem. It says two plus one is three. See the plus looks like a T and it's in red. Now let's go underneath it and we see four plus three is seven. See the plus symbol again, it's in red. Let's go to the third problem. It says one plus five is six. Again, look at the plus problem, it's in, I mean plus symbol, it's in red again. Now, let's look at the next group of problems. Let's look on the top right hand corner. We see two plus one equals three. This time we're concentrating on the equal sign. And the equal sign, again, is in red. Now look underneath it. We have 4 plus 3 equals 7. Again, the equal symbol is in red. The last one is 1 plus 5 equals 6. And again, the equal, prop, equal symbol is in red. Then we will go to the next page. Hello, on this slide we're reviewing the concept of in all. Let's start with the first problem. It says two plus one equals three in all. That means, okay, so I'm going to make dots for that. I'm going to start with two and I have two dots underneath the number two. Oh, they seem to go, want to go away on me again. I don't know why. There you go, two dots. It says two plus one. So I'm going to make one dot underneath that. And I'm going to go back and count and I see three dots in all. One, two, three. So the problem goes two plus one equals three in all. Now I go to the next problem and I ha have four plus three equals seven in all. So underneath the four, I am going to put four dots again. One, let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Four plus three, so I am going to put three dots underneath the number three. One, two, three. And you have four plus three equals seven in all. Now, let's go back to the bottom one. And we have one plus five equals six in all. So again, I'm going to make dots. Underneath the number one, I'm going to make one dot. One plus five. Underneath the five, I'm going to make five dots. 
one, two, three, four, five, equals six. Let's go back and count them. It looks like my red one dot underneath the one disappeared somehow. So now let's read them. I put it back up. Let's count all the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I have six dots in all. Hello, this is the first math page that you should have in front of you. It's page 351. You also need to get your pencil box and get out your crayons and pencils, please. Now get your two favorite color crayons. You ready? Okay, we're going to pretend that four baseball players come out on the field to play but we're not going to draw the baseball players. That would be too long. We're just going to make dots, okay? So we're going to make four dots. One, two, three, and uh, four. Mine keep erasing themselves, which is very frustrating. So, let me try and make that fourth one for you. Four. Okay. I have four baseball players. Now, they're having a good old time, but they need more people to play baseball with them. So, now, we are going to have three more players come on the field. So, you need to take a different color of crayon. And you're going to make three dots. One, two, and three. These came out quite a bit larger. Good job. So, we're going to look at our picture. We have started by putting four players out in the field. Because as you can see on my sheet, I have four dots. So I'm going to write the number four. That's the number four. Next you see a plus. And if you look at the green dots on my page, you see three green dots. So I'm going to write the number three. some reason things keep disappearing so it says four plus three equals and i'm going to count all the players so starting with my red dot do you point as we count together one two three four five six seven and i have seven dots or seven players so we will write the number seven that's we're done with that page let's go to the next page. Hi, this is the next math page that we are going to do together. It's math page 352. So make sure you have it out next to you. Make sure you have a pencil available too. At the top of the page, we have four peacocks. You point to them as I count. One, two, three, four. Do you see the number four below that? Please trace the number four. Remember when you trace, you go down, across, and down some more. That's the way to make a four. Next to that, we have the addition sign. That looks like a T. You may trace it. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you see two 
a group of two peacocks. You point it as we count. One, two. Very good. Now trace the number two underneath that, please. Next, you have an equal sign. Please trace that. Now, we need to count all the peacocks to find out how many we have in all. So you point as I count. One, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> Excuse me again. And so please write the number six or trace the number six because we have six peacocks in all. Now, let's look underneath that, and we see birds. First, in the first group, we see two birds. So you point as we count together. One, two. So you guessed it. We would write the number two underneath it, and I will write, although it will look very large and very sloppy, two. The next is a plus sign. So please trace the plus sign. That means go on top of it. My plus did not come very out very well, but you get the idea. Next, you see some more birds. Let's count the birds. One, two, three. We see three birds, so please write the number three underneath. It treat, keeps trying to do something when I write the number. So thank you for being so patient. Two plus three is what it says so far. Now next we see an equal sign. So go on top of the equals. And we have to find out how many we have in all. So we go back and count them. You point as I count, or we can count together as you point. Let's begin. One two, three, four, five, and we have five. So let's write the number five. Down, across, in, down, and around the tree. That's a five, as nicely as can be. Now let's look at our last problem. We see hummingbirds. Let's count the first group of hummingbirds. You point and count as we count together. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to write the number six underneath them. There we have, oops, that's a horrible number six. It erased on me. Ah, you get the idea. That should be a six. Then plus. Make a plus. Then we see the birds flying next to it, the other group. Let's count how many are in that group. You point as we count together. One, two, three. Let's make the number three. Ah, the top of the three came off. It says six plus three. Let's make the equal sign, please. Now we have to see how many birds we have in all. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to write the number nine. We have nine birds in all. Now, this will be uh, up on Wednesday. This is Wednesday's work. So on Wednesday, you have to do that with me, and then you have to complete the next two pages yourself. That will be on the assignments on Wednesday. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye.